What's up, guys? It's your girl, Leanna. And it's your boy, Shane. What's going on? Why you stop it, Philip? <laughs> <laughs> he always stop it. He's ridiculous. Tell them. Alright, so guys, we're about to do, do um, you know, a little talk video for you guys explaining why most relationships fail. Why a lot of relationships fail. And maybe it could be some reason why your, some of your relationships failed in the past. Even my relationships in the past, your relationships. Even our relationship in the past, past failed, you know? So let's get into details. Right. We're going to touch some topics, guys. Basically, we're going to do about. We're going to do about five to four topics, right? And I'm going to start with. Um, I think I want to start with assumptions. Let's talk about it. Assumptions? Yeah. What, what I'm asking you right now. As a man, what do you feel and where do you feel assumptions could take you? And what do you feel about it? So assumptions you're assuming that you're just, you're just giving um, an intake that you think is right. Right. It's like you assume that a person is doing something, or you assuming that something is going on, but you're not sure that what your intuition telling you that's what it is. Not even your intuition. Maybe something that happened, and now you just assume it. Right, you're right. That's what I'm saying. That's the like intuition telling you that you know maybe right. the person doing this right now. But number one, let's stop it right there. Assumption could damage the relationship. Horribly, guys. constantly, constantly assuming that your partner is cheating, or constantly assuming that he or she is doing something without knowing the full effect, will definitely damage your relationship. Sometimes you may be right, but don't just jump to us, jump to conclusion to assume that there's something is going on without trying to find fact about it. You know, so I feel like. That's one point that could damage a relationship because this sort this sort of damage a relationship, right? When you keep on assuming that a person is doing something, and say for example they're not doing nothing, and you keep blaming that person, oh you're doing this, you're cheating on me. For example, the person I'm gonna give you a scenario, right? Say I went to visit my grandmother, she's sick. I went to visit my grandmother, and she assuming that. I didn't go to my grandmother's house. She assuming that I probably go see some girl or something, right? But I'm telling her that I'm at my grandmother's house or whatever. Or I went to my grandmother's house, but her assumption comes in saying, "I don't, I don't think you went to your grandmother's house." And she keep blaming, "Oh, you did, you, you lying, you lying. You didn't go to your grandmother's house." That right there could create some damage, you know, because nobody who's doing good, like I'm innocent and I didn't do nothing. You blame me. Constantly blaming me that I'm doing something that I'm not doing. It's not healthy. Say. Vice versa. If I'm constantly blaming her that she's doing something that she's not doing, she, it get annoyed. Like your partner don't trust you. you right. Know? It, it start. It start to. Sorry. It start where. Start to see where the, the trust is like in the relationship. Right. So um, learning from experience and seeing other relationships. This is why assumptions are so. So traumatizing to your partner, guys, do not assume, right? It's okay to tell them how you're feeling. Like, if you assume something, don't argue about it. Just tell them how you're feeling. Like, hey, I'm feeling like this right now. These are my reasons for feeling like this. That's a little better because maybe your partner could explain it, get it off his back. Like, no, that's not what it is. But let me explain some of the reasons why assuming is so dangerous. Assuming is so dangerous because as you nag and you keep on assuming, that shows, that comes in with insecurities. We're going to hit that topic too. But assuming comes with insecurities and psychologically, you draw your man or your partner, your woman to become, they start to become turned off. And you might think that they don't love you and they could love you more than anybody in this world. You could be the love of their life. But they just become so turned off, they start to double think their relationship. Like, uh -huh. yo, do I really want to be with this person, marry this right. person? You know, they start to come with moods, come out of work angry, moody. Like, yo, I just can't deal with this. I already know what I'm going to, going home to. 
you know, or I already know what she's going to do. So leading that can make you feel as a partner so, so like, damn, why does my partner feel like that? And that could lead to cheating. We're going to hit that too. We're going to hit that topic. So guys, assumptions is the number one thing you don't want to do. It could lead to so many bad places in your relationship. Yeah, you want to avoid assuming. Just get to the fact. Communicate. Talk to your partner. Try to get to the bottom of how the person feels. And tell them what you feel. Because yeah, even if you're assuming you something, tell them, I'm assuming this. Maybe your maybe you and your partner might laugh about it. Like, yo, you crazy. It's nothing like that. And y'all yeah. don't have to get so... You don't have to go to sleep at night feeling like what you was assuming was real. That's why you got to communicate. That's why communication is the key. Let them know. So now let's hit that other topic. Where does insecurities come from? All right, where insecurities come from? All right, insecurities come into play when your partner don't talk you or make you feel less of yourself. Don't down talk you. Yeah, don't talk you. Okay. When your when your partner don't talk you or make you feel less of yourself. Right. Where your partner don't make you feel loved. So then you as that person gonna feel insecure, like you're lacking certain things. Yes. You know, you start to feel insecure deep down. You might not talk about it. But you know deep down you feel insecure because maybe your partner uplift you or make you feel beautiful, don't make you feel like you the man or make you feel like you this beautiful female or no smart. more or smart. You know, so insecurity comes in and sometimes it's natural. Sometimes your partner really mean to make you feel insecure. Sometimes just, it's certain, just an certain scenario, just an argument, certain things was said. And you just take that one, because you're insecure about the topic, right? Right. But whatever that person said in the argument, you just take it in so, so deep. Literal. So deep because you're insecure about it. And you just stay in mind and you're just so angry about it and want revenge, just want to hurt that person. And then... That's also an assumption. And then, then cheating come into cheating come and play that way. And I can't wait to hit cheating because it's something that damaged a lot of relationships, mainly. But let's be back on insecurity topic. So I feel like Sometimes it ha it's insecurities happen when you least you don't really meant the person meant to make you feel insecure, and it all boils down to you talking about it. I'm saying, yo, babe, you know that like, what you said today kind of offend me and make me feel bad right. about myself. You know, I never want to hear it again. Let's not let's not do that to each other. You know what right. I'm saying? Because I feel I feel bad as a man. I feel I feel down as a man. You speak to me like that. You know certain things. It's good to speak about. And sometimes we pry or pry again into play where we feel like, you know what? I'm not even going to speak about it, you know? Because maybe if I speak about it, he or she might look at me as me being weak. Right. So let me not speak about it. You know, you keep it in within yourself, but never think that it's okay to keep it in. That's your partner, that's your life partner. It should be one unit you, you guys are sharing and. There should be no private nothing in your mind. I want to know what you're thinking. Right. So we can fix this and make it right. Because what? We're only growing and we have plans to live and die together, right? Right. So. So um, I think insecurities could come from lack of attention. Right. right. And um, some people are just not so affectionate. So just learn your partner. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Some people are not the type to hold hands. And some people are just not the type to be so loving and a lot of us women take it as an insecurity like he don't love me no more he likes that type of woman more or he's embarrassed of me he's ashamed of me but again you have to look at what you're doing to make your relationship like that you know because sometimes we're human we could turn someone off just by fighting and they just so like, oh, just not in the mood. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Insecurities could come from so many different angles. And yes, we're feeling that way. We're feeling insecure about something. But maybe that's our partner making us feel that way. But maybe we got our partner so fed up that that's why they making us feel that way. Uh -huh. So it, it goes, it's a lot to it. But just know that if you feel insecure in one aspect, try to fix it up. Um, let your partner know, you know, I'm feeling insecure because all of this is a mental state to me. Being insecure is something mentally. And I think if you want to get out of that, you got to find yourself and heal yourself. You know, and if a person is constantly making you feel insecure, 
and you noticing he's just that type of person then i think that's more like a emotional abuse but if you kind of like pushing a person to be that distant from you or not that loving then you talk about your relationship and see what is it that's going on because it could be your own self making your partner feel just over it and also, we don't realize it also insecurities not, not only come from your partner doing something or make you feel insecure sometimes right. insecur insecurities come from your own lack of trust right. of the of your partner right. when you lack of trust in your partner your own insecurities come to play for nothing which so, comes with assumptions you know we come we come back to assumptions because of your own insecurity, sometimes a person doing good, but because you so used to certain people who you date in the past, or maybe ex did something in the past, and you you bring that same energy over into your new relationship. Maybe your parents, seeing you your know, parents go through. Maybe it's seeing things. your parents going through certain things. So the person could be doing good, but your own trust problems in your head, lack it of just trust, up. it just it just in your head mentally. And it could make you lead into insecure because of experience that you've been through. Right. So in that case, all you gotta do Fix is yourself. Start finding Start finding yourself, yourself fully. That means that you haven't fully found yourself. And there. finding yourself doesn't mean to date other people. Sometimes maybe you have to leave your relationship to find yourself. But it doesn't mean to cheat and be with other people. You don't have to leave relationship to find yourself. Right. Sometimes as a grown as an adult you should be able to find where you're wrong yes re-evaluating re yourself and say you listen you know what i was wrong in this situation maybe i need to work on myself right. maybe i need to work on this so someday i look back at certain things and look what it may be maybe there's an argument that happened yesterday right and then the days pass and you're over it but you start to look back right. and say wait how, how does this how do we get here what we'll start this argument right I used to re reevaluate the same thing. I'm like, maybe if I didn't do that, this person would react that way. So maybe it's me. Maybe I, I started or right. you don't even notice it. So sometimes you gotta re reevaluate yourself and take look look on the picture. Look at everything from the outside. Take yourself out of it. Look at it as if, if if it's another couple relationship. How do you judge it? Right. You know, cause sometimes we think that we're perfect. That we just best person best man best woman awesome, man. we're not we're not perfect man nobody's perfect Nobody is. and we make mistakes and it's you have to be mature enough to man up to your mistake and say listen i was wrong right. and i'm working on myself right so um basically insecurities can lead to you you know wanting other men you know wanting other men because you feel your man doesn't love you and now here's where cheating comes in, guys. So, um, cheating is something that I feel, this is my advice to anybody. If you feel you desiring, you're lusting, you want that other woman, or you lusting and want that other man, it is not fair, I'm gonna repeat this right now, that you cheat and put your partner through that walk away please walk away if that's something you desperately want walk away from your partner if you love that man to death or that woman to death you will not be lusting and if you are walk away i can't stress this enough she said it walk away because in my situation if i should ever feel like um Wanna I want to cheat, right? I wouldn't hurt a person that's betrayal, and that's what I hurt most in a breakup. The thought of betrayal, knowing this person betray you. Right. Like, oh, could you lie to me? You say you love me, you never do this, and you just betray me like that. You know, and that's the way the person will never trust you again, and they will never forgive you. And most people, once you cheat on the king, they're not, they're not working out, because what, you betray me. That's like you bringing, that's like I let you in my house, and you come rob my house. You know, you betray me, I trust you. So, for you to cheat on somebody who's there for you is a big betrayal. So, I, I agree with her. If you feel a need that you don't, you're not happy no more and you, and you need other people's affection, walk away from it. And I know we say walk away like it's easy. Come on, let's walk away. Trust me, it's not easy to walk away. And that's why people but cheat. don't keep someone there, man. It's not it's easy. Not we know it's not easy to walk away if you will feel like, oh, 
I, I don't want to hurt her. I can't walk her from my dick. You know, I don't want to, you know. You trust me, man. If you want to do something, be a man about it and stand there girl. I feel like, yo, I don't love you no more. I need to move on. Be a man about it. Go what? You wasting your, you wasting her time knowing that you don't love her, while a next man could be loving them, cheating on the best way he could cheat her. You know, he does, he does stop her in her glow right now. But so or, you, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe, maybe respect the man saying, "Hey, I would like to have a threesome." Maybe you gotta respect that. What? Maybe you could respect the man saying, "Hey, let's let's share this woman." Some relationships. They do it because not all the time you have to feel like if you say that to your woman, you know, you betray her. Ladies, you got to listen to your man and men listen to your woman. Maybe your, your woman might come to you and be like, babe, let's try this girl in bed. Right. It's, is it for you to leave her? Nah, nah it's, 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 never worth, it's never worth leaving your partner. It's good to be Like honest. I said, the, the, the number one solution <clears throat> to for relationship is communication and comprehension. Right. You know, so back to the cheating topic, right? Cheating is um, it's 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 caused by sexual feelings. And or, sexual energy is one of the strongest energy in the universe. Yeah. Sexual energy is one of the strongest feeling in the universe. So if I'm a man, and I know this energy keep coming about when I'm around certain people or when I'm in a certain environment. And I know I'm married, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I will never, I will try not to put myself in that situation. I take myself, because first of all, it shouldn't have come, but out of respect, as a man, you shouldn't be around those places. Out of respect to your wife, your girl, whatever, you shouldn't be in places where there's a temptation to do certain things. Because trust me, it's all energy and force that you should be able to resist. But sometimes it's so strong, a lot of people can't resist, only certain people can. But, try not to put yourself in the circumstances or situation where you are tempted to cheat. If you're, if you're married and all your friends are single, going to the club, looking for women to have sex with, that's not an environment you want to be around. How about men who sleep with um, their girl's best friend? Or friends? Their girl's best friend? Men sleep with their girls sleep with the guys' friends. Men that happened. That happened regular. You know that. I know I, I, it, it's not right. That's why you just don't combine the two. You know you just gotta be careful with who you let around. And like I said, if sex is one of the strongest forces in the universe, man. Trust me, sex is one of the strongest energy in the universe that will distract you from doing great thing with your life. Distract you from your work. Distract you from. Yo, sometimes some people travel distance for sex. They do the extraordinary for sex because it's so powerful. People you know? buy it. People would do anything for it. And that's Sell why the too. sex industry is such a high demand and make money. And that's why they got sex trafficking so high. I don't want you guys to be careful with that because it's very, very serious. You know, you might not take it serious because it haven't happened to somebody you know or someone close but to you. But that shit is happening but it's, right but it's happening every day. I, know, I don't know if you know this, but every day there's a kid missing. So sad. They sold into sex trafficking. Because these men all over the world are so it's just such into a powerful sex and spending money for sex. And it's a high, it's a, one of the highest growing business. Right. So guys, I feel like cheating comes from all those assumptions, um, insecurities, um, lack of communication. It comes from all of that. It doesn't mean because you're not getting any of those. Or it doesn't mean because you're doing all of those, cheating is okay. It, it doesn't even make it right if your partner's cheating and you know it and you have facts on it and, and it's okay for you to just go cheat. Listen, that could cause really a lot of trauma to your relationship. And it could cause trauma to the person. It could make the person really... It could, let me tell you something. It could make someone so depressed that they might want to commit suicide you know because cheating comes with a heartbreak like he said it becomes with, it, be, it comes with betrayal guys don't do that to your partner don't do that have a lot of more have more decency and respect for yourself as a lady or as a man and just walk the fuck away 
I really can't stress this enough. Walk away. Okay. It's so hard to walk away, but it's so easy to cheat. Let me tell you why. That makes let me tell you, you, you confuse. So if you confuse, don't even take no, that next let me, step. Let me tell you what's the motive behind it. It's so hard to walk away, but they cheat. But they cheat, in the, uh, they cheat to not get caught. So they could not, they could still have you around. And they could still do the dirt on the side. But what happens when you have a person that's like, yeah, I did this? Hmm? Oh, when a person come up front about, yeah, I yeah. cheat on you? Well, that person definitely got something coming for them. Definitely. As karma. As karma. And and the person come to you and say, yeah, I cheat on you. That's for you to walk away. They're telling you that, yeah, I cheat on you. That means that I want you to leave. I want you to get up. I'm not I'm not the best person for you. So you should move on or find a person for you. Because I'm telling you, if I, if I come to you and say, yeah, I cheated, so what? I mean, I'm telling you, you should move on with your life. I'm not the best person for you, you know? Because if, if I'm out here cheating on you, that means that I don't respect you as a woman. And I'm out there cheating. I don't, I don't really care. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm coming... Bring home a disease too. And I'm coming up front to say, yeah, I cheated on you. Like, I'm the shit. Nah. That mean, I'm, it's, it's time for you to leave, you know? I know your mother really raised you better than that. Time for you to move on and find something. Someone who will value you and cherish you as a queen you are. That's it. That's it, baby. Any more days, baby? Um. The other thing I want to speak about why a lot of relationships fail, right? When there's an argument, the partner is quick to up and leave, to walk away, to move on, or to cheat, to even come to play. But, right, I understand this, right? No relationship is perfect. You're not perfect. I'm not perfect. We're two imperfect people coming together to make things work for us right yeah so when we have an argument when you have an argument you gotta be prepared for those argument and it's like a good and bad you gotta prepare for both good good days and bad days right so we dating on a dating and years pass by and we have argument and every argument you feel the need to go seek attention <laughs> from another dude or another girl whatever now that's ridiculous see that's very ridiculous because <laughs> people get into relationship and instead of mine saying oh relationship should be perfect if you're imperfect you're not the one for me but if you feel that way you're gonna forever keep jumping from relationship to relationship all your life sorry baby mm -hmm. keep jumping from relationship to relationship all your life until you die all by yourself because trust me no relationship is perfect you're not gonna find a perfect person you might find somebody who's 80 they got 80 percent but they're missing the 20 percent that you that you wanted that, that, that they're missing 20% that they make a person 100%, right? So, my, she done the, she done the 20% that I'm looking for, right? But she have 80, she's perfect, everything. But yet, the little 20% that I need, she don't have it. But this person got a 20%. So what, I'm going to leave her because she got 20%? So no, I'll leave her. Because leave her and go to the one that have a 20%, right? <laughs> no, no, she had 20% that she was missing, but she done the 80% that she, she had. So no, imbalance, trust me, you ain't going to find a perfect person, man. And that's what life is, so... Understand when you get in a relationship, it's never going to be easy. A lot of sacrifices. A lot of sacrifices. You got to be prepared for bad days. A lot of communication. You can't give up on your partner. You can't give up because of an argument. You can't give up. You got to work on it. It's like a child. If, if your child admits me, you just give up on your child and go put your child in adoption. No, you don't. You work on it. You work on your child, right? And that's all. People should view relationship. If you view relationship that way, the divorce rate wouldn't be that high. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because everybody has a different perspective. Yeah, because remember, once you get married, you know, you, you, that's your life point. You sign and make vows. I'm going to be with you forever. So. so even if you're not married, it doesn't mean your partner doesn't love you. Guys. Right, exactly. That right. too. I wanted to hit the marriage subject, but I think this is a really long um, video already. We might do a part two to it. But, um... Guys, don't feel like you need to be married in order for your partner to love you. That's the dumbest shit I ever heard. You know, and I know everybody wants that marriage and that ring, but please, don't feel that way. Not everybody wants what you want. You know, like, that's, what, that's why when you get in a relationship, he has his goals, you have your goals. Just support each other, understand each other. That's all you could do. And if you really feel you want a marriage and kids, and your partner really feels like they're not ready for that, and you feel like you're here in a time age and you want that, walk away. Walk away. 
If they're not ready for that. If they really not ready for it, you like 35 already. You feel you can't wait no longer. You've been with this person five, six years already. They don't want to move forward. Walk away. Walk away. Why? It's best. You, he doesn't want what you want and you don't want what he wants. It's okay. Walk away. You understand? It happens every day. Like just sometimes your partner doesn't want what you want and it's okay to walk away. It's totally okay. But it doesn't mean he don't love you. Maybe he's just not ready. Yeah, for some men... Some men just don't want to get married. It's not. Some men just don't want to get married. I agree. It could be a spiritual with thing with it's, themselves. Whatever. You know, some men really don't want to get married. But sometimes the man is not fully ready to want to be in life. Right. To even go there. To even go there to give you a marriage. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes the guy want to get fulfilled all his stuff that he need to get out of the way. Right. His financial need, everything. Get, maybe get a dream job he wanted. It's like order. It's like an order thing. You get it in order. Right. It's you like a ladder. Do this, you know, you grow up a ladder. So sometimes... It's not that they don't want to get married, but they, they haven't achieved certain things that they want to achieve right. to give you a marriage. So something I understand important too. Because what's meant to be will be. Walk Definitely. away. So guys, that's all we have for today. I want you guys to comment below and let me know um, what was one of your um, biggest mistakes in your relationship or what is the problem you're having in your relationship. Is it any of the ones that we mentioned? And definitely we're going to start doing um, uh, therapy session with our subscribers where you guys come in and we do an interview with guys about relationship and we try to give you advice and inspire you in relationship <laughs>